Hey everyone, hope y'all are having a good beginning to your week. Um, I wanted to come in here for a second and talk to y'all about victories when you are starting your um, health or fitness journey. Um, quite often, the focus when you are trying to lose weight or to um, develop help, healthier habits is to focus on the scale. And um, that's kind of seems like ingrained in us, but the scale really isn't very accurate when it comes to judging your progress as um, you start to develop healthier habits. So um, what I wanted to talk to you about is what we call non-scale victories. And in um, my current private accountability group, that is what we were talking about today. Um, and non-scale victories are things like how your clothes fit, um, how you feel like you're, um, you sleep better, you feel more energetic, you, um, your hair and your nails are growing better, your skin is clearer. We count all those as non-scale victories. So it's not just about what the scale tell, tells you, um, mainly because it's just not a good judge. And, the, um, the weight of fat versus the weight of um, muscle is different. And there's a lot of debate about that, so I won't go into that, but um, there is a difference between that. So measuring yourself and then judging yourself off of those things are all good things um, to look at to see what your progress is. And then um, progress takes time. It takes consistent effort and time over the course of several months. So if you have just started with whatever program you're doing, um, stick with it, be consistent, do something every single day to get yourself to where you want to be and over time you'll see results from that. Now, as I talk to you, um, I wanted to show you what my major non-scale victory is for, um, for the last week or so. I am getting ready to go on a business trip and I had to um, pack some clothes that are business casual, and I don't hardly ever wear business clothes because um, my wardrobe consists of ma mainly scrubs for when I work for my day job, and then workout clothes, and um, blue jeans and boots and stuff like that. So I don't have very many business clothes. Well, I went um, through my closet, and I don't even I didn't even count on how many there are, but this is um, a stack of my pants. See all of these. This is my pants that were in my closet, and this is like only a very fraction of um, the clothes that I need to clean out. I have so many other ones that um, I know don't fit me in there, and I haven't worn them in forever, but I just haven't had time to go through all of them yet. So um, my journey started two years ago, and it's um, kind of been an uphill and downhill type thing, but I've just stuck with it and stayed consistent, and over time, I have downsized, and um these pants like don't even, I, I can't even pull them off. I mean, they look like clown pants um, because they are so incredibly baggy on me. Um, so that's a pretty cool problem to have, but <laughs> I end up with not very many clothes to wear. But um, I just wanted to talk to you all about that. Um, thanks for tuning in, Bronwyn. <laughs> um, I will uh, talk to you all later. Have a good evening.